Hello, good people of, of YouTube. Do not click off this video just yet. I promise you this is a good game. I know it's a carrier game, but at least let me plea my, my case first. So this is the first time I've played Enterprise in a very long time. I think almost over... shoot. At least since the carrier rework came out, I do not play Enterprise a whole lot. I bought it before the CV rework because Enterprise, I'm American, the ship has a lot of history throughout World War II, and plus I'm a fan of Star Trek, and obviously the ship in Star Trek is named after the Enterprise. So, this is legitimately my first game in Enterprise in at least, at least six months. And boy, does stuff happen. So... I'm here, random battles, uh, I believe this is a tier 8 game, straight tier 8, yes it is a tier 8 game because we have two CVs and the other CVs are tier 6 CVs. So I start lining up on this Trento with Enterprise's rocket planes and poof, 7,000 damage and one fire started there. And I fly right into the AA of Bismarck, I spot the Lexington, I spot another carrier, yeah, the, the, the Takeo. And yeah, my, my fighters, they they cease to exist. But I managed to get just about everybody over there that wastes their fighter plane. So yeah, I know next time I send planes over there, it's going to be kind of, uh, well, kind of not so bad. I even do type that there in chat. So it uh, looks like my team is going A. And D looks like a pretty even split. Looks like I got one, two, three, four ships over going to A. And well, actually, not not that even of a split. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, not that even of an, even of an A D sli uh, split. So again, the first time I'm playing Enterprise in a while, so I'm playing it kind of conservatively. As you can see, I'm dropping planes at the start to conserve them for later in the match. And our Agile is being harassed by both carriers, so I'll fly over to him and drop a fighter on top of him and also run into the Mahan right there. So the Enterprise, she's a pretty powerful premium. She's not available in the store anymore for that reason. They nerfed her a little bit, but I don't think it really helped a whole lot and they just resorted to pulling her from the store. And keep in mind, I am used to playing Graf Zeppelin as the only carrier I play on any regular basis. And it, even playing the Graf Zeppelin, it's not that regular of a basis that I play the Zepp. So, and I am not a CV main by any stretch of the imagination. I just, just this match gets really freaking uh, intense. And, well, you'll see why. So the Takeo, he turns, tries to dodge, and succeeds in dodging. So, you know, just dodge does actually work. I just love how, too, he fit just right in the perfect gap in my dive bomber. It was just beautiful. A lot like the hand of RNG just constructed it just for him. So... Start another bombing run. There I go. With my second plane in that run. And again, he manages to thread it. So I launch another wave of rocket planes now. And the rocket planes in Enterprise are really good. I don't play carriers that much, but I don't need to to know that these rocket planes are really, really, really freaking good. As you guys saw at the start of the match, and currently the only damage I have so far is from that first run of rocket planes where I got 15. Not 15 hits. I. Oof. My bad. Sorry, got a little little barky, uh, burpy there. So I managed to get 7,000 damage off of that first run of rocket plays, which is freaking insane. So I'm going to use him again against the, 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 the Takeo, Takao, however you want to pronounce that once again. He's running into, well, most of my team over by the decap. You see, I'm kind of struggling with the difference between the Graf Zeppelin's run-ups and stuff with, uh, with the compared to the Enterprise's run-ups. But the Enterprise, you can really just... I mean, look at this. Run up from like two kilometers and still be fine. I should have landed a little bit higher. That would have been a really good salvo. With the Graf Zeppelin, most of her run ups are, you need to start from about. Ooh, Charles Martel gets, gets it to the to, to cow. So I just pop those planes, send them back to the carrier. Anyway, most of the Graf Zeppelin's run ups, you need like four or five kilometers to get them off. But with Enterprise, you can get them off really freaking close. So. Looks like we are down two ships. Enemy team is down two ships as well. Again, dropping planes off here at the beginning to save them for later. Oh, look at Trino. <laughs> now, the Italian cruisers are actually pretty well armored, so AP bombs will arm on them fairly, fairly consistently. 
and it's also the Enterprise, so her AP bombs really, really freaking hurt. She gets plenty of them compared to the Graf Zeppelin where you just get two giant ones. And plus you get three planes in an attack squadron instead of, there we go, and there we go. Got one Citadel there on the Trino, Trento, and he eats a torpedo from, I believe that was the, what's the other carrier on my team, the Ryujo? Ryu I think it's the Ryujo. Yeah, the Ryujo. So uh, my Enterprise is getting a little spotted, so I'm moving him up with the fleet to one combined AA. And plus, so the enemy team has other ships to shoot at besides just the carrier. And that Trento did get some shells toward me, but it didn't really do all that much. So now there is a lone Bismarck over there. And Bismarck doesn't have the best AA. Better AA than Tirpitz. But can't really hold his own. And there's a Mutsu who, again, tier 6 Japanese. Battleship does not have that credit of AA. And what is really weird for me to get used to playing the Graf Zeppelin versus the Enterprise is the speed difference. The, ooh, and the Graf P just, just torpedoed their Fushin while the enemy Alabama just detonated our Shiryatsu. So, yeah, that happened. So I'm lining up for a run on the Bismarck. The Alabama just went down, which is a very, very good thing for me. Alabama has really, really, really good AA. Sample runner from the Bismarck, and he turns in right there. That's very smart of that Bismarck player. He turns into the torpedoes, thereby, thereby closing the distance on the arming range. So he managed to negate that torpedo salvo there. So good job to that Bismarck. So my carrier is detected again by the enemy. And a friendly Bismarck just rammed a Colorado. Bit of a... a bit bit of a one-sided trade there but okay so so far it's still pretty even with the teams the enemy team is down six ships we're down I'm oh, sorry the enemy team is down yeah the enemy team is down six ships we are down six ships as well now and points are pretty neck and neck we are currently capping D now we managed to take out most of the enemy ships that we're at D and our DD is cap <coughs> is capping now thank god and I think right here I was just looking for the name of the Graf Zeppelin player and the looking at his negative one kills. Uh, it's always dangerous when you have someone with torpedoes and I'm assuming he probably isn't that experienced because I mean that's the only way you can really torpedo your own destroy or just destroy a player may have just not been paying attention but the golden rule is never ever ever torpedo from behind your allies and I'm assuming that Graf speed did not follow that. So now I'm actually trying to get a run up on the Mutsu and again, I'm used to Graf Zeppelin to where you can pretty much start your dive bombers from wherever. So my lineup with this Mutsu isn't perfect. And I do hit him, but unfortunately it's not a Citadel. So turning back around now. Now, the again, the Bismarck's AA. If that Bismarck has a secondary build, he has pretty decent AA. And I just recall the planes right there because I knew that they were probably not going to make it and launch some torpedo planes instead. I mean, see me and the Ryu Joe was selling together to combine our AA from the Ranger and the Lexington. And again, start my conservation of planes. And New Mexico is getting bullied pretty hard from the Ranger and, well, the enemy battleships over at the ACAP. I really probably should have stopped there to drop some fighters on that New Mexico, but, I mean, he's pretty done either way, and there he goes. I probably really should have given him some fighters. I probably wouldn't have start, stopped the Rangers attack, but hey, would have been kind of nice. <laughs> and I can understand his frustration there in chat because he did just get absolutely molested there by the carriers most of the time. So here we go, Mutsu again. And he's by, him, he's by himself this time. Looks like the Bis yeah, the Bismarck went up north. So Mutsu is all alone, which is not something you want to do in a carrier game. Granted, they don't have a whole lot of people left on their on their team, but still, not something you want to be doing. So it looks like the Mutsu turned away from those torpedoes. That's ideally not what you want to do. So I get three hit, all three hits on him, and a flooding. And come back around again. Look at this. I can drop torpedoes from like two kilometers away here with the Enterprise. But the Roma takes out the... The Mutsu. Call those planes back since they're already damaged and launch another wave of of bombers. And this is where I had my old mouse that for some reason would double click when I wanted to single click. So I just quadruple clicked <laughs> that one square 
Um, no, sorry, I single clicked and it thought it was a double tip. It, was th it thought it was a double click and I pinged that square by accident. So I'm moving my carrier up forward now. Plan on going around the islands and. Well, actually, I changed my mind. I'm just I'm going to go into D since our destroyer did not finish capping it. And we need two caps because the enemy has two caps. So now I'm now sending my dive bombers out after that Bismarck. He's going to be by himself now. And again, that's easy pickings for a carrier. Take the Roma and our cruiser are sailing together. Now, Roma versus Bismarck. Bismarck's guns, well, this is after the little buff that the, the Germans got. So Bismarck's guns are more accurate than Roma's. But if Roma's guns manage to connect, they do pack one heck of a punch because of their pins. So, see, well, he dismissed that salvo we just witnessed there. Pop the speed boost to try and get to the Bismarck faster. And enemy Lexington just took out our Pensacola. Trying to come up from behind the Bismarck now to line up my dive bomber squadron. And the Bismarck is running toward the CVs for his AA protection, but he is outside of their AA bubble. Lost the plane there. Came up from behind him. He is straightening out. So that's actually kind of nice for me. And there we go. And there we go. Double Citadel on the Bismarck. And the Ranger is dropping torpedoes on him. And he's one torpedo. But manages to dodge the second one. And I recall my planes or what's left of them. Now send my another wave of torpedo bombers. Oh, I'm sorry. Not dive bombers. Torpedo bombers out after the Bismarck. Now, what, what is bad is that the Roma is so far away from our carriers, but the Bismarck is rather close to his. So the Roma is just being drawn in closer to the carriers to where the enemy carriers can get quicker and quicker attacks off on him. Meanwhile, me and the Ryujo have to fly from the other side of the map to get our planes off on the Bismarck. And Roma doesn't have that fantastic of AA in the first place, even though in real life it was mainly used as an AA barge since the Italians couldn't afford to give it gas to go anywhere. So now I am realizing that, you know, I should probably be giving this guy a fighter. And I'm sailing straight toward him with the intent of doing just that. Since, you know, the Enterprise is a tier 8 point, uh, tier eight carrier and my fighter is tier 8 rather than tier 6 like the Ryujos. So coming up on the Bismarck again. The Lexington drops a fighter on him just as I get there, but I don't think it's going to arrive in time to do much. And I drop these torpedoes, maybe with enough time to arm. And my squadron gets roasted by the Lexington's fighters and did not get a torpedo hit, so the Bismarck managed to dodge that. Now what is dangerous is that the Graf Spee has now shown up very close to my carrier and the Ryujo. So now we gotta deal with him and he's currently tearing into the Ryujo. We're under attack. So let's see if we can take care of that. Dodge that flat cloud. Come up on the Grasby. And the Grasby is a cruiser but it's armored like a mini battleship. So again AP bombs go right to its citadel if they connect and those did not connect. Again he managed to thread that freaking perfectly. Ryujo misses two. Coming back around. I also realizes that the Enterprise's planes are not maneuverable as the Germans. Although not quite as unmaneuverable as the British planes. Those things turn like wet bricks. Well, flying bricks now. I managed to get double citadel on the Grafspee by tabbing, uh, tapping him in his stern. And we are now down three ships each. The Roman has managed to burn out the Bismarck. I don't know if that was by his secondaries or he was just throwing HG at a battle tanking Bismarck. And both carriers, and now just the Graf Spee. And the Lexington manages to flood out the Roma, so now it's two carriers versus two carriers and a Graf Spee. And the Graf Spee is currently tearing up in, uh, tearing up on the Ryujo. Let's see, he's going, he ate a Ryujo torpedo, so he's going to eat, ooh, just dodge one of my torpedoes. Come back around again, starting these torpedo runs from like two kilometers away. That's crazy for me. 
And if I am doing something wrong, which I'm sure doing, I'm doing plenty wrong. Just remember, I don't play carriers a lot, and I really do not play Enterprise a lot at all. So he takes one, two, three, there we go, and he is done. So I now set course for the A cap in the Enterprise, because the Enterprise is pretty quick. And now it's just two carriers left, so we either need to cap a cap or sink both carriers. Uh, ca carriers. So I'm sending my rocket planes out to find their carrier. And ask Rayojo, hey, how fast are you? Unfortunately, he's, I think he's a little busy to, to respond. Now, the issue is, carriers in this game have really, 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 really good AA for obvious re reasons. So, it's going to be very difficult to sync a carrier with a carrier. It's really going to come down to who has more planes left at the end by the time you get through all the AA. Speak of the devil, there's the Lexington. So, full speed on to him, there's like freaking three fighter squadrons around here between. The Lexington, well, the, the fighter the Lexington um, pops and the fighter that he can pop with his plane. So right now I'm trying to get through to the Ranger because he's at 9,000 health. If we can take him out, that'll be a pickup for us in terms of points. So I get two planes through and I Citadel him with the rockets. That's, uh, that's something. So he's almost down. So if the Ryujo can focus on him. Now the Ryujo is also leading the charge because I was stuck on an island. An autopilot had to get me off of that. And that's probably not the most ideal such thing to be doing right now. And he's got Lexington on him and I'm sure the Ranger will be on him in a second. But he manages to take out the Ranger. I'll fly over to him. Give him one of my fighters as well. Here comes the Ranger's dive bombers that he just took out. And drum roll, please. It's now me versus this guy, someone who has grinded to a Lexington versus someone who bought a biz uh, uh, Enterprise a year ago and barely plays carriers. This is the part where I wish I was in the Graf Zeppelin. He's sailing to C. I'm sailing to uh, to A. And I take myself off autopilot here for a second in order to, I think I was trying to avoid running into that, that uh, island right there. So I pop fighters right there just to try and save me from that dive bomber squadron and it did not work. <laughs> Alright, so starting a torpedo run on the Lexington now. And we're at similar health, he just took out a huge chunk of my health with his dive bombers. But it did cost him quite a few planes. So that looks like it's going to connect nice and solidly. One, yep, one, two, three, there we go. That's, oh god, I just got bombed again from the Lexington. And I really wish you could set your, your, prior, your, prior, your AA priority sector while you're in the sky. I don't think you can. You couldn't last time I tried. That's changed since then, please let me know. And I make a mistake here. I did not put autopilot back on. So I am now about to sail into an island. Granted, that doesn't really matter because it's not like I'm going to kill my secondary. It's not like this is Graf Zeppelin. So here I have a fighter squadron on me. As you see, he's shooting through my planes. So I drop these bombs a bit early just so I can have two planes worth of bombs go off and not just one, pla uh, one plane's worth. And I get a defense expert. And if I didn't crash into that island, I might have been able to dodge those torpedoes. So I pop another squadron of torpedo bombers off and set autopilot to get me to sea. And what I'm realizing now is that the Lexington's out of planes. So now all I have to do is make my salvos connect and I'll sink him. And he's turning into this wave of torpedoes right here which is beautiful. So I drop those, get the squadron turning around again for another pass on the Lexington. So he's now down to 12,000 health. Turning around, I can make sure I have enough room to get a run up on him. Start the attack run. Got one plane that's almost dead. Floor it to make sure, see if I can get through his AA and through his fighter squadron. I get one torpedo off. I'm like, okay, let me just pop my rocket planes and I'll go and get him. And then I hear that ungodly noise coming from the game, which means time's almost up. He's got 7,000 health left. More than capable of doing that in one run with the rocket planes. But that is time.
So, for not playing the Enterprise in roughly six, seven months, potentially over a year, I did 131,000 damage, almost, almost, almost clutched the game. I probably played absolutely horrendously. I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to act like I didn't. Um, but, yeah, for not playing the, the ship in a year, boy, did I, of course, get thrown into one of those situations. The reason I was playing Enterprise was that I was going to make a uh, one of those meme um, compi uh, compilation type videos, but I decided to it. And I just wanted to show you guys this footage before I deleted it off my hard drive because I know not many of you are probably going to watch this all the way to the end. But thank you to those of you that did. So, my guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers, and we are 500 away from 9,000, which will be our halfway point to 10,000. Again, cannot thank you guys enough for that. Thanks for watching and for supporting, for supporting the channel. And I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.